Are you ready to master your Lightroom library? Look, tell me if this has happened to you before. You get frustrated looking for photos. You know they're in your Lightroom library, but there's a lot of scrolling. Either you have a ton of collections, you have a ton of keywords, you have a ton of photos, and it seems like you're always scrolling just to find the right bit of information that may lead you to the photo that you know you want, you know it's in there, but you have a hard time finding it. And all that really leads to is wasted time. Well, if you want to get out of that, I can help you. Hi, my name is William Beam. I'm a photographer just like you. I have tens of thousands of photos in my Lightroom library, and I've suffered the same problem as far as having so many keywords. Some of them I didn't even use. I'd imported things that I'd found on lists online saying, oh, this is how you need to organize your photos. Turns out a lot of the information I found online was wrong, it was either wrong in essence, or it was wrong for me. What I've done is I've come up with a system that allows you to organize your photos the way you want. I'll give you some examples and templates of how I do it, but you can easily modify this to work however your mind works in the way that you want to find your photographs. So if you want to know the best way to import your photos so that you have a good chance of finding them later, this is a class for you. If you've got a mess of collections and keywords, I can show you how to organize those so you don't have a long list to scroll through and it's very easy to find the ones you want. In fact, with keywords, I can show you how you can just enter a couple in the box and yet through the power of synonyms and hierarchies, what you export will have a lot more information so you don't end up doing duplicate effort on your photographs to find them. You want to share your photos, but you're curious about what kind of data goes out with them? I'll show you how you can modify that too. And there's so much more inside. We take a deep look inside of how to use all of the organizational tools that Lightroom provides so that you can use them to your advantage to save time and get organized. Let me show you a quick example. All right, so I've done a photo shoot and this is a wonderful lady who's, she's a musician in St. Lucia. And I wanted to make sure I was able to find her. There are a few things I can do. She's in a collection and that's over here in St. Lucia. I could add another collection just for her or I could use keywords and I'll come down here to keywording and open up my keywords. And all I have are two keywords, Claudette and the location, Anse Mamin. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. But yet there's more data to it than that for a couple of reasons. One, if you look down here to Will Export, you'll see there's the additional information. It tells you that she's in St. Lucia. It tells you who she is. She has dreadlocks. She's female. She has gray hair. She's in the Caribbean. And I could do so much more. And that comes from a combination of synonyms and hierarchy. And those are some of the things I'll show you inside of this course, where you can just enter a couple of keywords, but they'll have associated keywords that will come in automatically through synonyms and hierarchies. Let me show you what it looks like inside the course. Once you get inside the course, it's very simple. You can see that we have our major sections that'll tell you what each section does, and then there's a lesson for each element of it. So this is good. You can take it straight down the line or you can go freeform to find the information you want. And I did that for a couple of reasons. One, you may know some of these things or you may not be interested in them right now, or maybe you want to come back later as a reference to find out, hey, how do I do that again? So this is good for you to learn what to do. And if you haven't done it in a while, to come back and use it as a reference. And the player, I think, is actually very good. It has a little search engine built into it. You can download the captions that go along with it, or you can search for the captions. So if we go ahead and click this and click this Hi, start, you'll see we have all the caption text here. And if I want to look for photos, you'll see not only does it find it that quickly inside there, but if you click on the hyperlink, it takes you to the, to the spot. And you can see these little dots down here that shows you all the spots where I mentioned that keyword. So if you're looking for collections, if you're looking for color labels or anything else involved inside of organizing your photos in Lightroom, you can get to the spot very quickly just by doing a quick search on these videos. Organizing, finding, and sharing your photos inside of Lightroom is a basic task that we need to be able to master. And that's why I've kept the price of this course very low. I want everybody to be able to have access to it. There is one more thing. If you buy Lightroom through one of the Creative Cloud plans, like the photography plan or anything else that has Lightroom in it, Using my affiliate link, I'll give you the course for free. All you have to do is send me an email with your receipt. I'll verify it. And then once that's done, I'll grant you access to the course. So if you're renewing and you want to buy through my affiliate link, that's great. If you don't have Lightroom yet and you want to get the photography plan, then this is a bonus for you. If you buy through my affiliate link, I'll give you the course for free. Thanks very much. I look forward to seeing you inside the course.